Hey guys, RC here. We are back with another single team save here at DeGroff Shop. Let's take a look at the highlights from our last match. It was a cup match. And there's a nice inlet pass to Chris Natumba, and he puts it in. And in the second minute, we take a 1-0 lead. Look at that first touch from Natumba there. Lays it back, and immediately they go over the top to Van Zest, who slots it past the keeper. And that's a goal there. Steven Van, Zant, Van Zest. Diallo puts it top bends. Keeper can't get his hands all the way on it. And Anselmi Diallo from 30 yards out. And a corner goes to the back post. And Chris Natumba with a jumping volley. That was huge. 4 nothing advantage. Final minutes of the game. They get an entry pass and beat Anachik at the near post. Not a good display by the keeper. But it was a 4-1 victory. 23 shots to three, very good game, some dominance. We got 53,000 out of that. Taking a look at our schedule, I have kind of gone overboard a little bit just to jumpstart the season, but uh, after the VVV Venlo last episode to open up, we got a 2-1 win over Breda, Stretslov, and Teb with goals. We did get taken care of by Fortuna Sitard, 3-1. Natumba with a late goal there to, equal, to actually make it 2-1. And then uh, Tego got his second goal in a seven-minute span to uh, just finish us off. We came back and beat Vitesse 3-0. Stretzlov with a brace. Nateb with a goal at the end of the first half. PSV, we beat 1-0. That was a big win for us. Stretzloff with a controversial penalty. And boy, their coach called me out in the media and was very, very ugly and rude. I, my feelings were hurt. Uh, Feyenoord, we lost 1-0. They got a late goal. We let that point get away from us. 5-1 over Eindhoven. And it was Quazy with a brace. Shed a hole with a goal. DeVries back from his injury finally gets on the score sheet again. And Stretoslav gets on the score sheet again. He's our leading scorer. Ajax take, took us down 4-2. Natumba with a brace. But they were just too much for us. NEC, we stunned them 3-0. Marco Mart Merrick with a goal. Stretzlov with another brace. Uh, AZ, a 3-3 draw. Natumba, Stretzlov, and Quazy with goals. We were up 3-0, and they came back and equalized with three second-half goals, including two in the final 10 minutes of the game. And then the 4-1 win over the Kozakin boys in the Dutch Cup first round that we just saw. We will be back for our match with Sparta, our, our senior affiliate, in just a second. So we do need to go through some transfer news uh, since the opening match of the season. And we didn't have a whole lot in the way of transfers, but we've done a little bit. We did move out Theo Blondell for $245,000. Uh, he was a striker, could play a bunch of different positions, but... Just never broke in. We bought him for two fifty, dollars so we take a little bath on him. Basically, we rented him for $5,000. Uh, so he moves on and frees up some salary. Uh, Jean-Pierre Harms goes to Napoli for $300,000. Uh, we bought him for $65,000, so that's a nice little profit margin for us. Uh, he did play quite a bit, but with the promotion uh, up from second division to the Arita VC, just became expendable, and uh, so we moved him on. Plus, he was he had hit that threshold. He had hit 30, and, you know, I'm kind of done at that point. Uh, Andre Katarov, we also moved him to Pex. We got 76000 up front, up to 115000 He was, uh, you know, he's one of our veterans, 31000 You can tell the fans were not happy about this. But uh, anyway, he does move on, 31 years old. Uh, we bought him for 170000 He got us out of the second division. And, uh, you know, that was worth the money that we lost on him. He was in the last year of his contract, or he had he had one more year on his contract. And then we just loaned out uh, Attila Pater uh, for a little bit of a loan fee. On the flip side, we did bring in two new guys, uh, Keed Hansen. He comes in on a free and uh, he's on a youngster contract, three and a half star potential, can play left and right back. He's pretty decent already, but at 19, thought we would have some upside with him, probably just to sell him. This was a guy we just dropped two and a half million on 
and he becomes our big signing of the year. Brandon a slot boom. Taking a look at him, he's played two matches, still trying to find his footing here uh, in the you know with the club. But he he trained in the Netherlands uh, at Dordrecht, so uh, we need to get him up to speed. Four and a half star potential ability, three star current, twenty four years old, and he's really good. I mean, I think he should be one of our two starting midfielders. The other thing I've done is I've gone to a four four two. It's a, as a second tactic. Uh, this is what we've been playing with only one midfielder. But again, when I need more defense, I've been switching over to that one. So just, you know, just a little tweak to try to go. But you can see the results here. Uh, you know, a couple of losses, but we're not doing badly. And remember, we're supposed to be relegated. We're supposed to finish dead last. So that's where Eindhoven is with two points. And we're on 19, so we're 17 points clear of that. We're still in fourth position, uh, European qualifying uh, for the Euro 2, I believe, is what that is. And you know what? The board's happy, and we're only 10 games into the season. So anyway, let's get into this match. We are going to go with this 4-4-2 tactic. Anna Chick in goal, Dira, Optum, Ban Banachek, uh, Chassain on the back line, Shedahull, Diallo, Merrick, and Quazy lining up in the mid, Natumba, and Stretslov. Stretslov is actually doing really well. He, I was not expecting him to be my number two option here, but he's playing a 7.2. He's got eight goals and eight starts, so he's our leading goal scorer by far. Natumba has six and nine and is only playing a 6.92. DeVries is playing a 7.1, but he's only got one and four. So... Coming off that injury, he's going to have to earn his way back in when he gets minutes uh, right now. Uh, I don't think Stretzlov has done anything to deserve going to the bench, nor has Natumba. The only thing I would like to maybe reconsider here, Slotboom is trying to work back to fitness, so that's he. That's why he hasn't played as much. I've made him available for the uh, under-18s, to get him fit, and I think that's probably the best thing. That's why Diallo and Merrick are in. We'll, we're probably looking at a Diallo slot boom partnership there once uh, he's ready. So we'll see. Let's get warmed up, get out to the match. They never go for the one with fans, they don't like that. All right, we're in the blue and white, Sparta are in the uh, red and white. If you're colorblind, my apologies. They probably look identical. And they looked for a deep entry pass. It just went long and over the touchline. Let's give the team some encouragement here. Deer is back from a slight injury. Oh my goodness, we played all the way back to our box. Not a big fan of that tactic, but it is what it is, I suppose. Especially when we're going to play back there. I don't like that at all. <laughs> and then we just kick it to the other team. And it comes right back to us. Whoa, that was a blistering left shot by Bryson. Interesting. All right, Chassain. Deep entry past the keeper. Yeah, I don't... Ele Ele uh, yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. I know we said this would be a one-team save, but I might have to move clubs just for easier pronunciation. <laughs> oh, well, we'll figure it out. Or we'll just mock our way through it and do the best we can. Let's demand more. We've got three shots on target. Still looking for that breakthrough goal. And hopefully not give up a breakthrough goal. And there's a big save by Anachik. It was an offsides, however. They're just a step faster to the ball than we are. Come on, boys. 
Uh, was there an offsides there? Yep. Definitely an offsides. The two keepers are leading the way in ratings. That's um, it's usually not a good sign. All right, Merrick. There's a good entry pass. And it's hoofed out. Come on, boys. We're up to a .59 XG. Five shots on target. No, the fans are liking the action today. Oh, there's a nice tackle by Diallo. Deera gets taken apart by two players. Oh my goodness, what a finish there by Bryson. He showed us that left foot earlier, and that's his 50th league goal for Sparta. Ouch. Uh, we are going to demand more here. And another goal from Kosit on the cross in. And we have been gutted open here in the final five minutes of this half. Ouch. No, he just got right in between my two defenders. And just straight volley right into that net. We drop down to fifth position. Not the end of the world. I'd certainly like to finish in the top five. That's the goal. But we're gonna have days like this just because we're not we're not one of the top teams, so you know we have to really outperform. All right, let's pause it here. I want to look at, we've had more shots, more on target. We've got possession. So you know what? I'm going to go there. Diallo can actually play there. Merrick was already in the center, so nobody else moves. It's just Diallo slotting up into that, into that position. So we're going to go that way and see if this turns things around for us. Since we're since we're maintaining our our you know controlling the ball and everything else, I, it can't hurt us any. I don't think there's some good defense. Merrick, that was a kind of a poor pass. Quasi cannot control it. That was ah, that was not good. All right, let's look at a couple of subs here. All right, these guys are on yellows and tired, so let's take off Shedahull, bring on Rasmussen, and Diallo can come off for Vandermeulen. That'll be our first two subs of the match. Some fresh legs there. Oh, my God. Vanacek tried to clear it, and it hit Chassain right in the legs. Looked like we were trying to cross it on ourselves. A nice ball in, Stretzlov, and it gets blocked away. Need to do better, need to do better. Uh, let's demand more again. Quick passing. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. And Natumba had two chances that defenders. Flick went back to the keeper right past him. Come on, defense. There's a good block for us for a change. Banachek heads it out. Quasi just ignores it. Merrick, good job. There's a through ball out to Stretzlov. Somebody give him a runner up here. Uh, and taken down in the box. No foul. Oh, that's that's kind of brutal. And again, just step close, step slow. They are eating us alive here. Mm. 
He just looks he looks way out of position, Vandermeulen. All right, Rasmussen lumps it forward. There's Natumba, but he is not a dribbler. The wrong person to be looking for an outlet for. And there's a nice ball in. They beat the keeper. It's Kozit again. His second of the game, and that makes it 3-0 Sparta. I think we actually beat them last season. But uh, they are handling us here in this first match. Dira into the box. There's a flick on. Nobody's there to challenge the keeper. He makes an easy grab on it. Come on. Over the top. That had to be offside, right? He chips the keeper, though. I don't think they're calling that back. Oh, wow. Natumba, his seventh of the season. That was a really nice break. He timed that perfectly. Oh, look at that. Beautiful run. And then the keeper went down. He took him to the left, made the keeper commit, and then just dinked it over him. That's a nice, nice finish. Got to give some credit there. Stretzloff is struggling. Let's go ahead and let's bring on DeVries here and see if he can do anything. He'll have about 23, 24 minutes to try to make an impact. They've got some really tired players. There's Vandermeulen. Finds DeVries. DeVries moves forward. There's a nice ball to Natumba, but a bad angle. He lays it off, and they were looking for DeVries there. And we are looking really, really... I can't say we look bad. I mean, 13 shots and 11 of them on target. Just not enough goals. Not enough goals. And it's things like that right there. We try to make a pass, and it goes right to a defender. That's the infuriating part. And, you know, uh, Rasmussen with a stomp, I believe, or that was right at the whistle. I mean, Deera played a 6-4, Chassain a 6-3, but, I mean, everybody else played decent. And, I mean, that's that's the thing. We had a 1.19 XG, and they scored three. That's just not. Uh, I'm going to put hands. No, I'm going to hands together. No, nope, I'm going to point. No, not going to do that either. Far from pleased with that result. We'll go that route. Oh, boy. So that drops us to fourth. And, again, anything, if we finish top four, I think that's a win. Now, we're already 11 points behind PSV. But we've shown we can beat Venlo. We're only a point behind them. So, you know, problem is there are quite a few teams in here that, I mean, FC20 has been a problem. Ajax has been a huge problem. AZ has been a problem. Sparta just destroyed us, and they're seven, eight points behind us. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's just going to be that kind of season, I think. All right, let's get out of there, and we come unstuck. And that's true. We did. All right, well, I will try not to let that much time pass, but maybe we'll come back for PSV in the second round and uh, maybe highlights from NEC. I think that sounds like a doable situation. Guys, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. That's how you help me out. Appreciate it. Later. Bye.